Hey everybody, I just wanted to pop in real quick and give you a few updates on some of the projects that I've got going on. But first, I've got a new uh, skateboard that just arrived. This is an H Street uh, Matt Hensley uh, Street Swinger uh, model. This is a reproduction um, from his original 80s deck. Let's go ahead and get this uh, box open and we'll check it out. So It's packaged really well. This is one of the better uh, packaging jobs I've had on skateboards through the years. Let's see. All right. So I have the fade. Pull this off. Man, this really does bring me back. I had this. I had this uh, skateboard probably around 1988 or 1989. This was one of my favorite skateboards from back in the day. I really loved that board. And I had a red, uh, it was red dye, red stain. Uh, but yeah, I saw this, that they had this uh, reproduction. There was a hundred of these made. Uh, this is number 73 out of 100. This is the D series. They started reproducing these back, I think around like 2016 or so. I wasn't paying attention. I was, I've never really been a skateboard collector, so I wasn't paying attention and didn't get in on these before. But uh, now that I've got some of these other boards hanging up on the wall, it was like, hey, I really would like to get a, a Matt Hensley. Um, I've got a couple of pictures I'll share in just a minute, but um, just real quick about this board. Again, it's called the Street Swinger. Its uh, overall length is 30 inches and three quarters, so 30.75. 30 uh, the width is 9.6 on the widest uh, part. The nose is about four inches. The tail is six and a quarter, and it has a 15 and a half inch wheelbase that makes me think, this might be the next deck that I want to skate. And I'll explain why this might be the next deck, because um, I've got a decision to make. Let's see, what was in the, the card here? Um, I've got a picture of Matt Hensley there, and then there is a kind of promo sheet with a little bit of his story here. Let's take a minute and chat about the impact that Matt Hensley had on skateboarding in the late 80s and then into the 90s and why this model, the Street Swinger model, is so um, exciting and important to guys like me who grew up in that era. And if you watched last week's video where I built up this Powell Peralta Steve Size deck and we chatted about how in the public domain video it really started the evolution of skating moving away from so much uh, vert influence and how they started bringing on more of the, the next wave of pro street skaters. And that started with Mike Vallelli and Ray Barbie and then Steve Size. And so, yeah, in public domain, that video really inspired my buddies and me. There was some great street skating. But around that same era, 8th Street, they put out Shackle Me Not sometime around 88, 89 or so. And that was the first time I was really exposed to Matt Hensley. And his segment in there, all those street tricks he was doing on the flat ground, all the no complies and kick flips and varials and shove -its and the mixture of all those together. And that kind of the first time we were seeing much done with handrails and, and steps. Uh, that video really inspired my buddies and me. And so when it came time to get uh, my next skateboard, I decided I'm going to get a Matt Hensley skateboard. That guy's so inspiring. So I did. And so here's the skateboard I had. This picture here is from probably fall of 1989, maybe summer of 89. And if you look closely on the photo, you'll see that I've got Matt Hensley's autograph as well as Ron Allen's. Um, so yeah, there was a demo that they put on in Richmond, Virginia when I was in uh, probably the eighth or ninth grade. And I took this deck up there and asked him to sign it for me. And he did. And he wrote thanks on it. And then he looked me in the eye afterwards and kind of just made really good contact and was like, thank you so much. And uh, it was just really cool to see him appreciate the guys who were buying his decks and supporting him. Um, so that was awesome. This deck also had the old GNS truck. So I had some kind of hot pink uh, GNS truck. A lot of kids like to hate on those because uh, they would bend or whatever. But I never had any trouble with those trucks. And then I had some Powell Peralta T-Bones wheels on there too. And I still have those T-Bones wheels. They're like uh, ground down to like 50 millimeters or something now. But um, they were awesome. Then uh, in the neighborhood, this is the same deck. Riding that deck. Uh, buddy uh, in that cul-de-sac here, he had a mini ramp in his garage, 
And then outside in the cul-de-sac, we put up a, a quarter pipe and some like rails and stuff. But uh, yeah, we would like to kind of ollie off the side of the quarter pipe. And then I said this in this last uh, Steve Size video, but uh, in the neighborhood I lived, there was a elementary school and they would leave the milk crates out after the kids would get their milk during the day. And we would ollie over those milk crates and kind of mention how once you could get over a milk crate or at least one, you were kind of in the group. But um, yeah, this is uh, skating on that deck. So I loved this deck back in the day. It was one of my favorite shapes. I think I was probably at the peak of my skateboarding abilities around the time that I was riding this deck. And so that maybe explains why I have such a connection to it. But um, yeah, I am not a skateboard collector. At least I wasn't until this spring. And so this uh, reproduction, they did the first one in 2016, I believe. And they've done a couple of waves. So this is the, the D series. And I think it's been a couple years since they've put any of these out. And so um, I wasn't paying any attention to skateboard, like, reissue decks you know five ten years ago because i would just get skateboards and ride them i didn't care anything about collecting but when i set this room up and got these uh, kind of old school decks uh, set up i was really just starting to think about the old stuff and nostalgia and anyway this got on my radar it was actually after i had ordered this if i hadn't known this was coming out i would have got this and skated this so the thing is this is a limited edition of 100 and I really wasn't planning on getting this, but I saw the uh, heads up on their uh, H Street's uh, Instagram account that these were going to be made available and there was only going to be 100. And so I was like, you know what, I'd like to get one of those. So I would kind of was on standby and I went ahead and did it. But the skateboard I had in the 80s was the red one. and I really wanted a red one. But there, was, there weren't any available, so I was like, I'll just get this, it'll be fine. But then what's frustrating is, like, two days later, they were like, wow, we had such a demand. We sold out immediately, and we know that it kind of bummed a lot of people out who wanted them. So this is the D series, and so they announced, hey, we're going to release an E series, and you can pre-order them. And guess what? They have them, and you can pre-order specifically a red stained one. And so I was kind of like, dang it. And oh, and it's like five or 10 bucks cheaper because they had like a pre order discount. They will be shipping in, it said, uh, I think August or September. Um, so I went ahead and ordered one anyway. Uh, the red one, um, that's the one I'm going to hang up on the wall and keep. And then my decision is going to be uh, you know, I'm not rich. I can't afford to just buy a, a gazillion skateboard decks just because I like them. And so I may end up deciding to sell this on eBay. Or I might see how much I enjoy skating the old school decks. And when this wears out, and I don't go through decks as fast as I used to, but maybe next spring I'll set this up and skate it. So that's probably what I'll do is just skate this thing and then get that red one to hang up. But yeah, these are handmade in California and they're silk screened. It's not like a heat transfer. And, you know, again, just looking at it, the quality is really good. It just looks like a solid skateboard. Thanks for checking this out with me. And I, like I said earlier, I did want to give you a couple updates on my other projects. So the Hutch Trickstar is kind of still in waiting mode. Uh, John De Bruin on his uh, the Hutch Facebook page, just maybe it's yesterday, said that the Chrome uh, Western H stems are slated to arrive probably in the August time frame. So I have to decide, do I want to wait another two months? Uh, maybe three months to get that uh, and start building the, the frame set up. Uh, he's also got the wheel, I mean the tires, the, the Hutch reproduction tires are supposed to be uh, coming out, being available this week. So it might be a little bit longer before I build that up. And then uh, the video before the, the skateboard, the Steve Size, I built up the Monza, 24 inch Monza BMX bike. I'm still in love with this bike. It is amazing. I want to get it up to the pump track like I promised. Um, the thing is, is the last couple of weekends, uh, we were on vacation with my in-laws and then my parents are coming in from out of state for this weekend and probably next weekend. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to get up to the pump track and, and play it around and get some videos recorded. So it might be a little bit longer for that, but stay tuned. Those videos are coming. I'm super excited about the BMX stuff. Uh, I've always loved skateboarding and BMX. I don't plan to abandon either. So if you want to follow along with those projects please stay tuned otherwise uh, thanks so much for hanging out with me again if you enjoyed this please hit the like button or consider subscribing I'm really trying to grow the channel I'm almost at 500 uh, subscribers which is pretty mind-blowing to me I didn't think I would maybe ever get 500 so my stretch goal is gonna be a thousand so I'd appreciate a subscribe if you're willing and then otherwise we'll uh, see you on the next video All right, thanks